Hey, this is Becca with Rebecca Reed Creative, and in this video, I'm going to show you in under five minutes how to properly alt tag your images into Squarespace. So first of all, a lot of times in blog posts, you will have a Pinterest graphic. Um, so you wanna make sure that you are using keywords up in the titles. Right now it just says Pinterest, but I'm going to change that to exactly what the blog is about. And then you can download that. And you will see when it downloads that um, the, type, the title of the, the file name will be toolbox for budget conscious entrepreneurs dot PNG. So instead of having, you know, one, two, three, four dot JPEG or PNG, it's going to be really specific. Um, if your uh, computer or if you're just, you know, uploading an image, for example, and you're a photographer, your other option is to simply, um, wait till this finishes up, uh, change the name. So the way that you can change the name of any image is once it's downloaded, if you click on it, you can then go to, if you have an Apple um, in preview, file, save as, or export. And right in that export box, you can change the title. So this is this will work for anything. And also make sure the quality is under I would say one or two megabytes, so 367. It's still high enough quality, but it's definitely gonna be low enough to load quickly. So once I've done that, I then go into my blog post or wherever on Squarespace I am updating this. And you can click edit, and then you pull in that image. And the only change that you will need to do once you add that image, is it will ask for the file name right here. Um, it might pull it, if it does, great. If it doesn't, just make sure to change it. Uh, you can also always add keywords in. So if you are, this particular client is an accountant. So maybe I would say, you know, at the end, um, put like a line and then put accountant for entrepreneurs. Um, you can add a caption if you want, but I mean, I don't, I, I think it kind of messes with the page personally, so I'm not going to do that. And it pulled in that file name, so that's great. And you can also say like, you could have the caption below or overlay or whatever, but um, this right here, this file name is what is going to pull for when, um, like if somebody decided to pin this image, let's say, that's what's pulling into Pinterest. So I might even get rid of that PNG and just say, Content for entrepreneurs. <laughs> there we go. Um, and the rest is just fine. You can change the design if you want. I don't really care. I just need the image in there. And then make sure you click save. So that right there is all you need to do in order to take your images. And it will definitely help SEO. Also, when people search um, particular keywords on Google, if they go to the images tab, this is how you make sure that your image pops up. I hope you guys find that helpful. And if you have any questions or any Squarespace uh, tutorials you would like done, please let me know. I would love to create them.